Changing file ownership is considerably simpler than changing the permissions. We use the chown or chown command to do that. Its usage is the following, chown followed by the owner that you wish to cause the file to be owned by and then the file or files themselves. For example, if we had a user called Fred, we could give Fred the ownership over all the files in the current directory that end in .doc. Very simple to do. Let's just examine some important things that we need to keep in mind when we're doing that. Firstly, the ownership of the file has absolutely nothing to do with the location of the file. In other words, a file may be owned by Fred but sitting in Tom's home directory. Let's have a look at an example of that. Now I could simply say to own avon for the other fella and uh, another.txt. Now when I do that something interesting is actually going to happen on this particular Unix system. I don't even have the ability to run the to own program. My internet service provider has taken away that permission from all its subscribers. I guess because they don't trust us to use it properly. So I'm sorry but we're just going to have to pretend what would have happened. The another.txt file which is here, this mvirtue right here would go to Avon. So this file would be considered to be owned then by Avon. However, it's still sitting in my directory. So if I didn't know any better I might come along here and try and modify the file. Now the file's read only, so I can't modify it. And I might jump up and down and say, well, how come I can't modify the file when it's sitting in my own directory? And the reason is, well, it's owned by Avon, and it is read only. It's just very important to understand that simply because a file is sitting in a particular directory doesn't mean that the person who owns that directory has any particular privileges over that file. Another thing to keep in mind is, you can't do any of this stuff to any file that you don't own. So you can't change the ownership of any file that you don't own. You can't change the permissions on any file that you don't own. And you can't change the group on any file that you don't own. So if you're planning to modify these things like the permissions and the group and the ownership and so forth, you better make sure that you change the ownership last. Because if you change the ownership first and then you go and try and change the permissions, you'll find that you can't because you don't own the file. Like I said, only the owner can change these things. Also, well, I guess this is just a corollary of the previous point. If you change the ownership of a file, you can't change it back. You have to contact the other user and get them to change it back for you. Unless, of course, you happen to know their username and password. Sadly, I'm going to be unable to demonstrate such things because I can't run the each own program.